But out there, first things first. My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Supreme Ambient Light Rejection, screen paint using Ambient Light Rejection technology gain. I got to figure out a way how to build a bigger table or figure out how to position the image where I need it to go because right now I'm still learning this. So I already attached my projector uh, to my tabletop projection stand uh, designed for the NEC projectors, ultra short throws. And I'm just going through here right now to figure out exactly. Oh, I think exactly I know what projector I'm going to need. One of these projectors has a positioning option and one doesn't. I think this is the one that doesn't have a positioning option. Let me go check for a minute. Let me see. This one does have, no, it doesn't have the positioning option. The other one has the position option. So I'm going to have to buy me another projector because this one doesn't have it. So there's supposed to be a position option to allow me to pull the screen back up to the projector right about here. So I can basically uh, watch TV or movies or whatever on my, um, on my table. But this particular projector doesn't have it. The other one has it. So I have to order another one. So, uh, so far, this is what I'm doing right now. Just checking this out. Going through. And also, too, there's interactive software in it, which I was checking out the firmware on it. And it's interactive, which means I can go in and I can actually draw on the table and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Uh, let me see. What do we have going on here? I don't want to watch Sean and the Sheep. This is freaking cool. I'm gonna use, oh, gotta use crazy colors. And this is actually a piece of um, fiberglass, flexible fiberglass coated with 12. Now next, I'm going to be adding the 3D scanner to this because I'm going to see what I can do with it. Um, there's another piece that attaches to it that will allow me to be able to attach it under a glass table and project the image upward. Hey, how you doing? Unfortunately, we can't ship overseas. Um, PayPal restrictions. They're allowed to ship overseas. But if you have anybody within the United States, uh, we can ship to them. Sorry about that. So this is the 12 on a piece of uh, fiberglass. Build me a table. I'm literally gonna have to build me a table big enough to hold this thing. Thank you, I appreciate that. I really do. Three D screen savers. Getting that from YouTube. Ooh. This is freaking cool. What we gotta do this. Always be ready to seize the moment. When inspiration strikes. Yeah, you can. Actually we make an invisible version of the technology. Uh, you make an invisible version of it that makes it easier to be coated on um, um, acoustic surfaces.
Yeah, this is. I'm actually using a 720p projector. I bought this projector for 150 dollars, and I got the stand on Amazon for 100. And you can buy those on eBay right now for 150 uh, to 180 dollars. And we're using the uh, black technology for. Oh, we got to do this. You're going into the circle. Ooh. I am from Philadelphia. And people were going into the whole the tunnel. I like this, man. Um, when I had the Epson projector set up like this, you would get so much light that would push off. The, 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 uh, like I said, it's amazing how it's designed to actually, actually these projectors are designed to be used this way. So, you, but you have to get a special stand to set, set them up, they kind of activate that way. Oh, look at this. Gotta come out of that one. Oh, we gotta do this one, definitely. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to attach my scanner to this. I'm definitely gonna have to add my scanner to this. Oh, we definitely got this right here. Well, 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 what? Transform snacking with Lay's kettle cooked sea salt and vinegar flavored chips. A canvas screen. Yeah. Actually, I have one downstairs. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, um, I have a 150-inch um, fabric screen. I'll set it up with this projector on the floor. We'll just blow the whole entire floor out on 150 inches. And we'll use the scanning software. The scanning software, I have basically, I can scan the floor. I can do special effects on the floor, like blow the entire floor out, make it look like the floor is metal, and all that cool stuff. We'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, this is actually coated on a sheet. This is a 12 uh, rolled onto a sheet of um, of uh, thin plexiglass. We used to make wallpaper screens out of this stuff. But I thought it'd be pretty cool to set this up. This is what I was trying. Now what I'm doing next is um, tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, this is the invisible version of blue. That's the blue invisible version. That's the invisible with the blue technology. We're going to take the Wagner 1050 or 250. We're going to take some blackout cloth material and we're actually going to make our own form of projection screen tablecloth. So I don't have to drag that upstairs every time. I can just take this out, unfold it, and just drape it over the table. And we got a projection screen. We're going to use this invisible cooling on top of it. So as soon as we get some weather that's a lot better, I can go out there and do that demonstration. This part. Of the bracket system allows you to connect it under a table. So if you have a glass table, you can connect it under a glass table and you can bring the image upward, which I'm going to do. I'm going to buy me a glass table. We're going to coat that with that black technology and project an image right through it on the opposite side. Where are the remote controls? Oh, here we go. Well, we got to do football highlights. Football highlights. Getting that from YouTube. Yeah, we're going to do that. Actually, um, I'm going to be ordering some acoustic materials.
And from the 28, first pass is a completion to the tight end, Dalton Schultz. It's, uh, it's nice when you've got a guy who's... It's kind of strange watching football this way. Yeah, that's interesting, Washington. Yeah, I'm gonna do when we um when we start doing more demonstrations on the on Visual Blue, I'm going to be um I'm gonna be doing some demonstrations, some paint on demonstrations live. Um let me see uh 3D pawn. Getting that from YouTube. No, I got that wrong. 3D koi fish pond. Getting that from YouTube. Ooh, okay, see, so yeah, I don't know if I wonder if it butchered it. I don't know. I came out of it. Getting that from YouTube. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. That's what I was saying. You don't have to, to have fun with a projector. You don't have to spend a lot of money. $150 for the projector, $100 for the stand. That's it. And then I got the fiberglass for about $20. And then with our technology coded on it, around, uh, well, actually, the sale is going to be ending tonight. So it goes up to $160. Bucks. But still, all together, pretty cool setup. Look at the angle gain on this stuff. Let me see. See, this would be a nice display for a floor. I would love to have my floors looking like this. Uh oh. Oh, it just popped into my head. I'm gonna have to paint a floor. Cause now I'm curious what it would look like to have a floor like this. I mean, all I would have to do is to stick one of these projectors. Right now, I have the projector um, on Zoom, I have it shrunk in. Because if I pull it all the way out, it would cover, it cover, hit the, hit the floor and the walls, not the walls, but it, it's a pretty good distance. We got to check that out. Okay, so tomorrow, let me see how big of an image I can get. And if it works out all well, I'll paint one of the floors in the house with the formula. Of course, I'm going to spray it over some kind of protective formula on top of it. But other than that, I think it'd be quite cool to have a fish and walk around and see this on your floor walking around. That'd be kind of cool to look at. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Um, I was getting kind of late. I'll be on tomorrow. Um, we'll do the uh, fabric surface, which I have a 150 inch downstairs. We're going to play around with that. And then um, what we'll do is we'll hook up the scanner up to it because I got the uh, 3D mapping scanner software and equipment in here and we'll set the floor on fire or cause an earthquake or one or the other. So we'll be using these toys tomorrow um, to uh, make the floor uh, light up or explode. All right, with that being said, thank you all for your time. Oh, wait, wait, let me show you something really quick. I'm so sorry. I'm going to show you something really quick. I'm still working on my arcade. Oh, I got the stairs back on. The lights on the stairs are back on. I repaired them. They're done. But I finished out the lights and the air keys. So they're all done for the screen. It's finished. I don't think I have to run any more lights in here. Got rid of the door. And then open here. I should. Nah, it's going too far. I was thinking about just actually adding some more, like around here. It'd be going too far, wouldn't it? And then over here, I'm still finishing up my little tea room slash um, uh, tea room slash. Um, well, I guess you can call it an office. An office slash tea room. Some, someone was asking me why is the desk so low to the ground because that's how I'm setting it up. I actually already went in an order from Amazon. Um, it's a Japanese. Uh, um, like a like a cushion designed for sitting on your knees, and yeah, I've actually um, uh, sat a few couple of days. 
uh, doing work like that and actually it's quite comfortable. I like it. So what I did was to give the table like a kind of an authentic look to it. I went and got some wooden tape and did the table legs. That's my whole office underneath here, computer and all that good stuff right there. And I got me a giant mouse pad to work on for work. This is a hundred and no, 79 inch portrait screen right there. And then over here, I got another one of the projectors I bought off of um, eBay. Uh, I paid, um, which one is this one? It's just, yeah, I paid 150 bucks for that one right there. And that's set up on that screen right there. And then this one's over here to do the vertical because that's a vertical setup. Well, I'm going to set up over here. So it's coming along quite nicely. I just got a few things to get. I'm not done yet because I had to take the doors off because I bought some um, Japanese doorway curtains for here and here. Um, I have a table display I'm putting in there for the tea kettle right here for my tea room. And I bought myself a box for my sorted teas. What's up? Right there for my sorted teas. Ordered some bone china so I can drink my tea in here and chill. And oh, I ordered a Dreamcast. Those of you with me? Yeah, I have a Dreamcast coming on the way. I thought it'd be nice to have a Dreamcast. I can play all my Dreamcast games now and hook it up to this. There we go. That's my portrait. That's my work screen right there. It work. And then over here, I already ordered the sound bar. The sound bar is coming in pretty soon. Um, I bought me some nice shelves to put up, some nice fancy uh, designs. Oh, and I got a fountain coming. I ordered a fountain. The fountain's going to be over there. And I bought some, uh, everything I bought, Japanese lamps, everything. There we go. So this was actually made, this screen was actually designed out of a bed sheet. This is a bed sheet projection screen. And this one also too is a bed sheet, which means I didn't, I couldn't find any blackout cloth. So I went to Walmart and paid around 900, 900, that's funny, $9.44 for a bed sheet. So these are all made out of bed sheets. And that's using that black technology. I drop my lights in here. And this used to be my office. Well, it was my office. And I decided to convert it into something different. So this is where I came up with the idea for this area right here. Then, really quick. I might be in here today. This is the gaming room. This is one of the gaming rooms. This, I wanted to make my own little arcade room. So this is the arcade room I built for myself. In here. Got me nice to all together and pretty cheap to put all this together. The gaming PC cost me about $411 or for the PC itself. And then the screen, I had to mount it a certain way. So I had to actually um, put in uh, several planks to push it out from the wall because there was an outlet that came up from the wall about that wide. So I had to actually elevate the screen up from the wall. And this was another NEC projector I got from eBay for about $130. I built the stand for it so I can put it, stand it upward like this horizontal. And then over here on my computer, I have my, um, my system set up for portrait mode. So we'll turn that on right now. All my, the majority, all my projectors I all buy from eBay. Let's buy the cheapest stuff I can get my hands on so I don't have to spend a lot of money. Let me pop it on in a couple of minutes. And that right there, that's blue technology I'm using right now. The ceiling's painted black because that's actual screen paint up there. I'm actually going to get a stargazer, like the same setup I have downstairs. I'm going to turn the ceiling into a galaxy. I adjust my keystone. I got it. Get the automatic keystone removal off to here. I don't know why I still have it on here. There's my gaming screen right there. Ooh, slide around here, break your neck. Keyboard and mouse. Work 
Retro Game Fun. That'd be me. Boom. There we go. So, not all games will play in portrait mode. Just certain ones will play in portrait mode. Um, I went and actually got me a Steam account. So, I can come in here and play. These are all the games I've downloaded on there so far. Um, certain games will play in the regular format. Escape and some of them, like the shooters. I like to do a lot of shooters. We'll do in the um, in the side scroll. So, pretty cool. But you can look all the way up and look way down to your giant screen. I think Steam should be loading up right now. I'm not using a really big graphic card. Tell me, that does not sound like Dreamcast, because it does. It sounds exactly like Dreamcast. I think they bought the rights to that. Because that sounds exactly like Dreamcast, I guarantee you. I bought a Dreamcast, I'm going to be powering it up in the next room. I guarantee it sounds exactly like. Let me see, let's go over in here. i got to exit oh, this big picture mode, because I'm not going to be in big picture mode today. Nope, come out of there, please. All right. Come back in here real quick. I'm going to be in my settings. Let's come and exit out of this. Okay. Send. So I can watch. This got the entire way. Oh, this is a little crooked. And I can see it too. It's a bit on a slant. I got to adjust my keystone just a little bit more. And right now, all my projectors sit on eco mode. All of them. There's no point in not having an eco mode. There we go. That's better. A little too far over. All right. So now, since I got it in portrait mode, it's going to fill the whole screen out. All I have to do is just move it over. You just hit this right here, and boom. So these are all the games I downloaded so far. So uh, right now, the main game I'm playing right now is this one right here. Actually, I think it's that one right there. That's the main one I'm playing right now. That does actually do the entire full screen. Almost about the whole full screen. I'm just going to play the display on it. That's basically about it. Oh, and by the way, the P upgrades I did for the PC, if you're curious, this PC is a Dell um, 7010. Um, only two upgrades I did on it. I added a bigger graphic card. I added a GTX um, 1050 onto it. Um, this has a DDR5. Um, with four uh, gigs on it. Uh, keep in mind it's a TI with four gigs of TI. Number two, wireless network card. No wires. Turn it down. My neighbors are like, what the freak is going on? Yep, so whole setup, tell you the truth, is you can do it all on the cheap. Uh, it's just a fixed frame projection screen turned around horizontal. Like I said, the PC right here, you get them on Amazon right now for $211. From the door, they start off with two terabytes um, of solid state drive. They do come with an i5 or you can get an i7. I got another one coming with an i7. Um, it does have um, the, um, what's that, I'll add on to it. Oh, the RAM on it is like 16. This is all enough, because all I do is play arcade games on it. This is an arcade room. So that's basically about it, you know what I mean? And the only thing I added on it, I added upgraded the more powerful video card. It added in a Wi-Fi adapter, so I don't have to run any wires through here. I know, wire management. I got wire management to do tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow, all wire management tomorrow. So that's just set up here. And then uh, I got to do the hallway next. And I got to hide all these wires in here. Ooh. And then we have the Tron. This is the Tron. This is the area where I have my virtual glasses, my PS4 system. This stuff is set up in here the entire floor. All this lights up. So if I were to come in here, which I'm still wiring in. Matter of fact, I just ordered new lights to finish off the Tron. Actually, I'm, I'll change some of the lights up too. So I'll show you real quick. So we add some more color to the lights. Come on, light. 
Oops. Oh. I gotta be careful when you step on the floor because there are lights everywhere in the floor. And then we have the big ones that go on. They cover all those up there at the top. So I'm still tracing lights through this bad boy. These are the other ones. Because these lights are interesting. So with the chasers, if you add, if you daisy chain four of them together, what happens is um, they're actually starting to dim. You can't daisy chain four. It's the three is the max as you can go. So you have to kind of space that out. You have to put a power supply after every, every three. You have to run a power supply. If not, you're going to have all kinds of issues. Now, the other ones are going to display in red because i got to change them separately, but I don't feel like doing it right now. But these are the other ones, and they display in red when they first come on. So a lot of freaking work to get this to run just the way I want it to. And then... Under the chairs here, there are LED lights under my gaming chair. Right there. I actually have those in blue. Right there. And then behind the sound bar, there is another set of lights. Make the sound bars glow. There you go. And there we go. I might just keep the red in there. Because I like how the red actually synchronizes with the blue. Usually I have it all blue in here, but I think I'm going to keep the red in there and just have it all synchronized together. Because I like how it intertwines with the floor. So you kind of got to train yourself when you walk around in here because if you hit any of these lights, you will mess them up. So now what I have to do is I have to finish. I'm going to run a line from here, probably straight red. Now I like the way the red traces in. I'm going to bring it through here, grid it up here, 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 and then come right back here because we got to cover this spot right here. Now once this is done, we have the ceiling to do, which means the ceiling's going to be on a different set of lights. We're going to run the ceiling through, and what I'm going to do is, imagine this is like a piece of uh, white wood coming from the ceiling like this. The reason why I have it like this is so it blends into the ceiling, and it'll blend into the background wall. So that way, when I bring the LED lights through, I can bring them down, trace them down straight, and bring them across. So it looks like the, like the, the circuit board's standing out at you. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of getting that. You know what I mean? So if I camouflage it just right where it's not too far past the screen, but just enough high enough where you, that white spot, this white panel will fit up there just right where you can't see it, I can run the LED lights here, bring them down, and bring them across, and bring them around. So it looks like you've got a form of circuit board right up in your face. And then I'm going to add some wires and, um, wires and cables coming out from the wall. They're going to be all glowing in the dark. This entire area is going to look like a giant circuit board. That's what I'm building here right now. So I'm not done yet. I still have the windows to trace out and so forth. I just kind of stopped for a little bit to take a break because there was a lot going on in here, a lot. Now, that right there is another project on its own. I'm still going to keep that in there. I'm going to make that the main interface for all the, all the circuits. So let me turn all this off because out here, my neighbors can see that crystal clear. See how my neighbors can see the house over there? They can see that crystal clear. Like, what the frick is going on over there? Right over here, I've got the Chrissy Big Boy projector set up for the 135-inch screen. But right now, I'm doing VRs tomorrow because I haven't been in my VRs for six months, and I miss it. So I'm going in tomorrow. Usually, when I do VRs, the only thing I do is I go into the I go into the bottom of the ocean. That's where I go. Literally, I just basically do uh, watch um, scuba exhibits. And I just go into the bottom of the ocean, just sit there and just chill and relax. Unless you fall asleep and you end up in Shark Week, which I did one time. That was not pretty. So that's the whole purpose of when I design this stuff, these rooms. Each one of these rooms is like a project I'm working on. So it kind of lets me allow me to be able to escape the everyday world from day to day. Oh, I forgot to show you something really quick. I think uh, these may be working. I'm not sure. Are oh, these working? Are they dead? Or did I kill them? What are these on these lights? Oh, can't remember if they were. These lights, there's LED lights in here. I think the batteries might be dead, so I gotta actually figure out. I think they are dead. Yep, they're dead. I gotta replace my batteries. So there's actually LED lights in there. Let's see them. Let's see. 
Eh, whatever. I'll have to face them tomorrow. All right, so let me shut these off. So you have to shut them off um, with a kill switch. You do not want to use remote controls in here. You would trigger off a nightmare, a rainbow nightmare. Trust me. Because this is how they have to be disconnected, one by one by one. Now these right here, these chasers right here, we give those away for free. Uh, one of the kits we have is called the multi kit. It comes with three quarts and it comes with free chasers. Okay, so that's all the lights in here going. Here we go. There we go. Lead lights. There's lead lights on the ceiling fan. That looks pretty cool to look at. Guess I'll leave my lights on in here. No, no, I'll keep them all, keep them all. Unless you're both crazy enough as it is. Now the hallway. The hallway looks super bright because these lights right here, these LED lights, these are LED lights they have for uh, restaurants, hotels, stuff like that. They give you a little heavy backlit. So I did a bit of an experiment. Now I ran these in the hallway. I know how much power the hallway uses. And actually I've had my lights out, my main lights off. I don't have to have them turned on. I can run these lights all day, all night, and they will use less power than the lights I have up on my ceiling. So these lights right here are gonna add these over here into the bathroom. So I don't have to use these lights anymore. And these are much brighter. On top of that, they come with a really cool remote control where I can control the settings of my lights on how dim I want them. So I like these right here. All this is gonna be hidden. This is just all the stuff put up right now. I'm just wiring everything in. But all this is gonna be hidden behind uh, cables and tubes and stuff like that. So let's come out of here. If I know, all the stuff that I make, I never get any time to come in here and do anything. I'm always usually working on some project, doing something. I think we got you, right? Here we go. These lights just stay on. I don't bother turning them off. Let me come downstairs, and this is the other part of the house. These are the LED lights. Now, this is easy to do. You can actually give yourself a nice galaxy ceiling in your home. Really easy to do. All you got to do is just buy multiple of these projectors, like these right here. Sorry about that. Just don't wake up and walk in front of one of these bad boys. So, I'll give you the price on them. They're pretty reasonable. How come this one's not coming on? Ah, I might have yanked out the core when I was plugging in the lights. In the back, hold on for a minute. I gotta see what madness went on the back of my cables back here. Cause that's supposed to be on, cause I know that's not. Which one is that one? Is it disconnected? It wasn't in all the way. Let me see now. There we go. Disconnected my my, my LED lights. All right. So what about these? What's going on with these? These are activating. All right, let's see what's going on back here. This is my mess of wires and stuff. Got an outlet here and got an outlet in here. Why are we using any of these? And this one should not be loose. All right. All right. So pretty much this is easy to do. All you're doing is just overlapping the lights. That's all you're doing. This is how you get the galaxy ceiling effect in your home. So each one of these lights basically just overlap each other to give it an effect like you actually have a galaxy kicking off. That's all. Now the best one out of all of them, honestly, would be, I don't make it, what kind of laser? Laser will mess you up. That's the best one. That's the cheapest one I paid for and that is the, literally the best one I've ever bought. This one I paid for, this is the Bliss, Sky Bliss. I paid around uh, 60 bucks for that one. That one cost me $20. I like that one because it had the kind of stars that would pop up back and forth, like these shiny stars. I was trying to get a shooting star, but I couldn't get a shooting star. I'm still looking for that one. Some actually do have one with a shooting star. This one gives off a kind of like bluey abyss right here. Now, this one right here, this is the cheapest one that I bought. This one cost me $39. That was, this is the best one. It comes with a nice remote control with it. But keep in mind, you can only have one of them in the house. 
um, they kind of connect by accident because I bought two of them. I turn one off, the other one would come on. It's vice versa, back and forth. It's a bit of a nightmare, but this is the one that causes the red and blue effect and it causes all the stars to move around. Now over here, to trigger off this galaxy over here, we have another bliss projector pointed in another direction over here. That's creating this those solar universe right here and those lights right there are blending into that. And then we have another projector here which causes another set of stars. And we put those right over in there. And all you got to do is just keep overlapping them. The more you overlap them, the more it comes to life. Makes about it really easy. Now in here, we have that projector because the ceiling is coated with a black screen paint. This is a stand that I built so I can project images on my ceiling. Let me see. Here we go. I got this projector for around $50 on eBay. I just needed a short though projector. That's going to be powering up in a few minutes. And then we have this one over here. This is the one I paid the most for. This projector right here is, there's a 235.1 right across here. So, here we go. And that's so I can display fish or the universe. Anything I want, I can display it right up there. That's the black technology right there. So let me see for a minute. Okay, fine. Everything here is blue. Literally, everything here is blue. Let's see if we can display something on the ceiling in there. While right, we're in here. That's my noisy air cleaner. I'm trying to have to get me another one. Christian music. Okay, 4K fish. Display on the ceiling. I'm gonna take this one right here. I'll take this one. Of course, you got a commercial there, of course. But yeah, we're gonna do the floor right here. So this is where I'm gonna put the projector in, and we're gonna blow this whole floor. Try to blow the whole floor out. Try to. That's what we said for that. And that should be running the TV too. There we go. right there that's one up on the ceiling so i noticed something the view sonic i have is pretty good but the nec that i had in here the nec blew the whole ceiling out so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to try to fucking get online the night and get myself another nec projector because the nec projector did a much better job than the view sonic this is supposed to be short throw but the nec did much much better so i'm gonna see if i can get me another nec the same model i have in the theater room and our uh, gamer room the arcade room that projector used to be down here. That projector actually produces a much, much bigger image. And if I want to do something like, um, let's see, let's put something like um, a vortex or 3D screensaver. something on here pretty cool here we go Like I said, I got to, um, I might even get me one of the smaller projectors that allow me to do the special effects. Let's do it right on this one. Nope, come back in. Here we go, I'll take this one. Let 
Here we go. Universe right on the ceiling. Yeah, so yeah, I just try to keep to keep the place as different as much as possible. I still got to get a chance when the summertime gets here, then I'll get a chance to get outside and play because um, right now I'm on a project of building a 500 inch screen in my backyard. Yeah, 500 inch screen I'm building in my backyard. It's gonna be completely um, it's gonna be all made out of micro mesh. So for the fellow who was asking about the acoustic, yeah, it's gonna be a 500 inch acoustic screen. It's gonna have a tower of speakers behind it. Well, not too much because my neighbors will freak out. Other than that, yeah, it's a new project I'm going to be working on. All right, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for your time. I have to go, and God bless.